Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ooh. Today I'm going to be giving off some real juicy secrets and things like that to something that a lot of people have been asking me about for a long time, which is my skincare. When I was younger, in high school and middle school, I had really bad acne, and now I really don't get pimples at all anymore. And a lot of people that knew me from back in the day always ask me, how did I get my skin so clear? So I thought I would share some of my beauty tips with you guys and see if you could use them yourself. So I think I'm gonna take a shower, wash my face, and then apply the things that I usually apply at nighttime so that you can see how I apply them and everything like that. I might wash my face on camera, but I don't know. I think I'll do it in the shower because that's how I usually wash my face. So what I do first is I use this cleanser. Can you guys read that? It's oil-free acne wash, redness soothing facial cleanser by Neutrogena. This I recently got about a month ago and I love it a lot. I use it at nighttime. It's not gonna be super fragrant or anything like that. It's naturally soothing aloe and chamomile. So when I wash my face with this, I think that it really makes my skin look very clean and very clear. Right now my skin looks very oily. It's a reason by how all this because I wanna show you guys how I actually wash my face and things like that. After I wash my face, I usually use toner. This is a oil-free acne stress control toner. Now, this is something that I do apply twice a day. It says, treats acne even before it emerges, eliminates oil and shine, refreshes and soothes. Uh, it does everything it says on here. It's a triple action toner. So, if you notice, my wash and my toner are by the same brand, Neutrogena. A lot of time, I notice that brands will use the same ingredients in their stuff. So if you use the same brands, you might get the same look. Your skin will still look how you want it to look if you like the other product, if that makes sense. So when I apply the toner, I usually use a cosmetic pad, which looks something like this. I take one out for you just so you can see. Uh, you can use a cotton ball, but I prefer these because they absorb way less product than a cotton ball. A cotton ball will soak up all of your stuff and it'll be gone. After I use toner on my face, I do use a medication that I got from my dermatologist, which is called EpiDuo. It comes in a container like this. Uh, it's probably in a lot of different other kind of containers, but that's how mine look. It's really called Adapalene and Benzoyl Peroxide Gel, but they just call it EpiDuo. I guess that's the brand that manufactures this. But for a year, I was on a medication called Accutane, which is for the most severe form of acne. and if I can, I will upload a picture of when I had really bad acne, just so you can see. But when I was younger, I would never take pictures because I had such bad acne and I was so not confident about my skin and things like that. So I would really avoid taking pictures because I always had a pimple or be a huge pimple cut on my forehead, on my nose, chin, it was really bad. The EpiDuo cream that I use for my dermatologist does make my skin very dry, so I always have to use a moisturizer after putting on the cream, and I'll rub it in together. So what I use is the Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Lotion. It comes in a bottle like this. I've run through at least three of these bottles, at least two in the past month. Um, I use it a lot. It's for dry or extra dry skin, which I said I suffer from because of the EpiDuo cream that I use. It has hyaluronic acid and it provides immediate and long lasting hydration. It's non-comedogenic and fragrance free. Whenever I go for a skincare product, I always go for something that is without fragrance because the fragrance will irritate your skin, especially if it's an artificial fragrance. A lot of fragrances from brands that use like real flowers or real coconuts and things like that, I can use because it's so natural and it is still good for your skin. But a lot of those brands that are really cheap and they have all those different fragrances in them, they can really break your skin out and I would recommend to stay away from them. Everything that I use for my skin usually says non-comedogenic, which is another phrase for non-pore clogging. So it won't clog your pores, it's good for your skin. And a lot of them are really recommended by dermatologists. So after I rub this in, my skin is a lot more moisturized at that time. So you know when you're moisturizing your face, you got the lotion in your hands and you're putting it on your face and then you start putting it around your eyes and your eyes start watering and burning and stuff like that. So the way to really eliminate that is to use an eye cream. When you're using your daily face lotion, I would recommend to not put it near your eyes. Go off and get an eye cream. An eye cream will definitely help to not burn your eyes. It'll help 
eliminate the puffiness around your eyes. It'll make your eyes look 100% younger. A lot of people go and get different things done to their eyes, which I'm not against, but you can definitely beat that with the over-the-counter lotion. So I'm gonna read what the back of this thing says it does for you, just so everybody knows. It says, uh, it reduces the look of dark circles and puffiness, which I already said, and then it also helps repair and restore protective skin barrier. I have the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream, but I also have the Cetaphil brand, which I use to I alternate them. Depends on how I'm feeling. They both look pretty much the same, but I like to try both of them. So either one I would highly recommend. The, the Cetaphil one comes in a bottle like this. It says, Hydrating Eye Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. For the face and all skin types, deeply hydrates for 24 hours, brightens and smooths. And it definitely does that. They both do the same thing. They're both awesome. And if you get either one, you really can't go wrong. A lot of people get dark spots on their neck or hyperpigmentation like in the back. I used to have it really bad. So my dermatologist recommended that I use Ambi, which is in a tube like this. It's fade cream. It lightens your skin. It's for the gradual fading of dark spots. I used to go tanning a lot to even my skin tone and make it all appear the same. But now I just use this fade cream only on my neck area. Be careful where you use it because it will actually lighten your skin. So if you really don't want your face to be a lighter color, I would recommend to not use it on your face, but use it on the areas that you really want to lighten your skin. So after I put the fade cream onto my neck, I will also put my moisturizing Cetaphil cream on top of the fade cream, make it real smooth. So by the time I go to sleep, everything is good. I wake up, my skin is lighter, my hyperpigmentation is starting to go away. In over a week, you will definitely see a difference. Now, I'm not here to bash nobody, but it's been a lot of stuff in the news and the tabloids and things like that about baby powder. So I really don't use baby powder at all. I will tell you what I do use, and this was also recommended by my dermatologist. Instead of baby powder, what I use is a powder called Zsorb AF. It comes in a bottle like this. This one is the Jock Itch rendition. So you just put some in between your groin. It'll leave you fresh all day long. And by the time you shower at nighttime, you won't really smell anything. It'll be all good to go and everything like that. I also have the Athlete's Foot Edition, which I put into my socks at nighttime to stay fresh and wake up with really fresh feet. Then I also have the excessive moisture one, which I could put anywhere. You could put it under your arms, anywhere where you have excessive moisture. I put it on my chest sometimes, in between my arm area, whatever that's called, because that could get a little sweaty sometimes, in between my knees on the inside, you know, in case you get a little sweaty in those areas you can put it anywhere and i really love all of these powders because they are also non-comedogenic and they don't have fragrance to them and they will not irritate your skin the next topic i want to talk to you about is hair when i wake up in the morning time i use a prescribed shampoo because i scaled a lot like it's kind of like dandruff um in my eyebrows and things like that so at nighttime, if I wash my hair in the morning time, I do wash my hair at nighttime sometimes too, which is totally okay. Now, what I do is I use this um, Head and Shoulders Royal Oils Moisturizing Co-Wash. Comes in a bottle like this. I used to use the regular Head and Shoulders because that's what my dermatologist always recommended, but it used to make my skin really dry. So now Head and Shoulders has really upgraded their game and they came out with this Royal Oils, which is geared towards black people and things like that. So it really works awesome in my hair. Um, I'm gonna read the back for you so you know what this particular one is. It's a rich cleansing conditioner that gently cleanses, relieves its scalp dryness, and gives you soft, moisturized hair. So with this, you don't really have to put in a moisturizer after you wash your hair because it's already a moisturizing co-wash. So as you can tell, I really put a dent in this bottle. I use it all the time. So I would not use this if you only wash your hair one time in one day, but you can. So I usually use it a second time. So if I wake up in the morning and I use my prescribed shampoo and then I go to the gym or I'm doing a lot of things during the day and I want to wash my hair at nighttime while I'm in the shower, I will use the co-wash because it already has moisturizing additives to it and I won't have to use a daily moisturizer after that. I can just tie up my hair in my do-rag and then I can just go to sleep because it'll already be moisturized. So I think this is really awesome. I have like all of the Royal Oil products. I really like this one a lot and I recommend this one just if you want to wash your hair out. I also have the Royal Oil Shampoo which I use 
I really only use this on my haircut days because I wash my hair in the morning time. And then when as soon as I get done getting my haircut, I'm going to wash my hair and get all that loose hair out. So I'll use this one. And then I also use the Moisture Renewal Conditioner. So I have the whole collection. I really recommend this one. If you do not have African American hair, I would highly recommend the normal head and shoulders products and things like that. But this one is infused with coconut oil and um, it's just really awesome to me. So when I'm taking a shower, the body wash that I use is Dove, the Sensitive Skin version of it. It comes in a lot of different fragrances, but this one is called Sensitive Skin, which I use because I do have sensitive skin. This is the number one recommended body wash by dermatologists, so I really like to use it all of the time. This is the only one I would use. I really wouldn't use any other body wash. I mean, I would try other ones just to review them, but this is the one that I go to every day. So when I get out of the shower, I have to hydrate my actual body too, not just the face, the whole body I have to hydrate. So I use the Gold Bond Ultimate Hydrating Lotion Radiance Renewal Cream Oil. This one, that's how the bottle looks. It has coconut oil, cocoa butter, African shea butter. It exfoliates and nourishes visibly dry skin. It lasts for 24 hours. It's not greasy at all. It gently exfoliates and everything like that. So, um, the reason why I use this one is because I do have a rather large tattoo on my arm and the coconut oil helps to keep in the color. I have all color and it will not fade your tattoo or anything like that, like a lot of different other body lotions. So I really like this one a lot. I would really recommend this one. All Gold Bond products are really dermatologists recommended, but this one is the one that I really use all of the time. If you haven't noticed by now, you probably will recognize that I do not use fragrance that much inside of my skincare routine. If I do use a cologne when I go out or something like that, I'll just spray it on my clothes, like two or three sprays just so I can get the smell on me, but I've never actually spray it onto my arms or my neck or anything like that. So the next item that I use when I get out of the shower is this Vanna Cream Anti-Presperant Deodorant. Um, this deodorant does not have dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, parabens, all other preservatives. So this is something that I use all the time. It's a lot more expensive than your normal cheap deodorant, but it works really well. Last but not least, I wanna talk about men when you have to shave because a lot of the times, People use different things to shave and things like that. I know I, when I was younger, I used to try all different kinds of things to shave, but I found the perfect thing that works perfect. I recommend it to any man. It is called the Manscaped. Comes in a box like this. This is the newer one. It's a 3.0. They also have a 2.0, which is a different version. It's the older one, but this is the only one that I've tried. Ever since I've been using this, I really love it a lot. I'm gonna open up what's in it so I can show you. So this is the main shaver here. You can use it on your face. It's really gentle, like it won't scratch you. Just like any other shaver, you wanna be really gentle when using it and things like that. But you shouldn't worry about it cutting you or anything like that. So I use it literally everywhere. I use it under my arms. I use it literally everywhere. So I would really recommend this product for women too because they can use it to shave under their arms. I really don't know about shaving in other places with it, but Everybody should be shaving under their arms because you really don't want to put deodorant into the hair. You really want to get on your skin so that you can be sweat free. So I'm just going to show you everything that the Manscaped shaver comes with. There's a charger cord. It plugs right into this charging base. It charges really fast actually. And I think it lasts, I don't know, at least an hour. And then, so you just plug that into that and that's how that is, bada bing, bada boom. And then the shaver also comes with this shaver head though, that clips right onto the shaver. If you don't wanna have like no hair or anything like that, which I never use cause I just go for the ball, you know. I don't want no hair, get rid of all of the hair there. Yep, but uh, I really recommend it. It's very soft and it's very gentle on the skin. So it's definitely an A plus. Oh yeah, it does come with this little brush thing too. It's like a cleaner. So what you do with this is you just get the shaver and then when you're done using it, you can just brush the hairs out, you know. That's what that's for. And then the top of this actually pops off some type of way. I forgot how you do it. Like that. So that's that and then that's the inside of it, like that. And you also wanna just brush the hairs off on the inside and then you know, if you use this head for other purposes besides 
your underarms or whatever. You can also buy separate heads and you can use them for those different areas that you wanna get at and things like that. If you do use the same head, you know, on your underarms you're growing, I would recommend to um, wipe it down with rubbing alcohol so you can be very sanitary and clean and things like that. So, yep. Thanks to y'all for watching this video. I hope you really got a lot of different skincare ideas and beauty secrets that I tried to share with you. And I hope you really use them and they work for you just as well as they work for me. If you have any beauty secrets that you use and you want me to know about, just comment them or let me know. And then I will probably try them too. And I can review whatever you did or different skincare routines. I try to switch up my skincare routine every probably six months to a year so you'll probably see a lot more from me i'll get a different brand or something like that i like a lot of other brands too like la Roche posay you know a lot of different other dermatologists recommended brands so please let me know what you think about the products that i use in today's video and please stay tuned and i will try on the products that i told you about so you can see how i actually apply them thank you so much for watching see you in the next one bye all right, y'all, I'm back. I just got out of the shower. I did wash my face in the shower. So I'm gonna hurry up and moisturize my face and things like that before my skin gets too dry. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna whip out one of these cotton pad things here, and I'm gonna grab my toner. Just put a little bit of this onto the cotton pad, and I'm gonna rub it in my face. Not too close under the eyes because it does burn under the eyes. So just put it all around like that. And it feels really refreshing when I put it on my face and it smells really good. The next thing I'm gonna apply is my EpiDuo, the prescribed medication that I use. I just do one pump. So if you do more than one pump, it'll dry out your skin way too much. And then I try to do my forehead first. Then I work my way down. So over the eyebrows, I'll get the whole forehead area. Then I'll get my nose. I have to always remember not to put this on my eyelids because it will darken your eyelids. On the back of it, it says do not put onto your eyelids. So never put this on there. Put it on the cheeks, everywhere else. It's really good though. Once the EpiDuo is fully applied, I then go to my Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Lotion. I try to do one pump, but you can do more than one, so I just do two just to show you. Do as many pumps as you want of that, and then I put it on the same way. Forehead first, then into the nose, and then cheeks, and everywhere else. Then next, I'll grab the Ambi Fade Cream. This is a new bottle, so I have to use the pointy thing on the end of the cap right there and poke it into the closed aluminum surface just to pop it open. I can squeeze out some. You don't need too much. If you don't put the cap right back on, it will start oozing out a little bit, so put the cap back on. And I'll rub it on the front of my neck, in the back of my neck, and behind my ears. Apply this anywhere you want to get rid of the dark hyperpigmentation or the dark scars on your face or your neck. Then I'll go back to the Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Lotion. Square to that. Then I'll put it on top of the fade cream just to keep my skin moist. The next step, I'll go for the Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. Um, if you didn't notice, I did use the Cetaphil Hydrating Lotion as well. So I'm using both these together tonight. Before I do use the eye cream, I need to wash my hands because I already have this prescription medication on my hands and if I put that under my eyes, it will cause dark circles. So the way to properly apply this eye gel cream, take the cap off, you'll dot it like 
One, two, three. However you want to do it, and then you do it on top of the eye as well, like that. So you do it on both eyes. Put a lot on, because I couldn't really see when I was doing this one, but this other one is kind of how you really want to get it to look. And then you just rub it in. Last but not least, get you some chapstick. This will keep your lips moisturized all night long. I keep it right on my side table by my bed, so in the middle of the night when my lips are feeling chapped, I can just put some on, then my lips are moist. They're not gonna be cracking, bleeding, none of that other stuff, so get you some chapstick. You know, the classic original. You don't gotta get the cherry or whatever flavor you may wanna get. I just use the regular plain chapstick. Thanks again for watching my quick and easy skincare routine. See you in the next video. Bye.